Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilmer again uh, on our number four uh, B high field trip and uh, this afternoon I want to talk about uh, American fowl brood. So this hive I uh, reckon had American fowl brood. Uh, this one's alright and this one had American fowl brood. Actually there's a beetle there. There's two of them making Anyway, yeah. Um, so that one's got AFB, that one's got AFB. So I used to, what I used to do when I found it was kill all the bees and uh, clean all the hive out and uh, scorch all the boxes and the frames and start again. So what I'm, I've been told what you can do is uh, keep the bees, put a uh, nice clean box in there with clean frames and fresh foundation and uh, the bees will use up their AFB in the first bit of uh, drawn uh, comb that they built. So, uh, so what I've st started doing is uh, not even emptying out the cleaning it out the uh, frames of brood. So what I do is take take the frames of brood out of the one hive with AFB and add it to the other hive with AFB and let the bees hatch out and at least build up their colony a bit so we're not wasting uh, what good brood there is on the frames. So what I've done, I found out sometimes you do that and the bees will leave the hive. So what I've been doing is just leaving one good frame of brood in the hive and uh, put a frame of foundation next to it uh, with a couple of empty frames and then the next day take that frame of brood out and put it back in the other hive. That's yeah, you know, as long as I know that the bees are happy to stay there and they're starting to draw comb on the other ones, on the other frames. So I'm just going to give them a puff of smoke. And uh, yeah, this, this has been like that for the last two days. We've had good conditions here. So I'm just going to uh, give it a puff of smoke. And uh, I've got a actually got a mat to put on top. I haven't I haven't put a mat on there yet. So uh, so they they're gonna build these frames out much the same as they do on a top bar hive. So uh, you can see uh, these are the out this is the outside one. Actually what I can do is move it all over to the other side. Uh, and this is the uh, another empty one. So, this is uh, this was a foundationless comb two days ago. So, uh, so you can see they've done a fair bit in the last two days. Uh, it's all nice worker comb there. There's no uh, no drone comb there at all. Uh, there's a bit of honey in there. So just put that one. Now, if you these frames, if you put them hard up against each other, it's the same spacing as what the bees do in the wild. So uh, what I normally do with my normal operation is I. Um, put nine frames in a ten frame hive uh, for both my uh, brood box and the uh, honey box. So this is the uh, frame of foundation that's pretty well uh, drawn out. You can see a lot of uh, pollen in there. I haven't been looking mm. for the queen incidentally. I uh, haven't, haven't looked for the queen. She might just, if she's going to be anywhere, she might be on this frame. Anyway, she'll be there. Uh, I'm just looking for some newly laid eggs. But it's only been two days. Maybe, uh, anyway, she'll start laying when she's ready. So, uh, So the fact that they've uh, built that comb on those on that empty on those empty empty frame plus that one 
there's a, a bus, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, you sort of know that they're going to stay there. This is not an empty one. So they haven't really started on that one. So, the idea of having the uh, one frame... Do you see the chain where they were making wax, so hanging off each other on that? Yeah, well they're just uh, in the process of uh, hanging off each other to uh, build the wax. So they, they need to do that in the wax production, so to hang off each other. And then the, uh, the weight of the bees hanging on the top uh, bees makes the top bees produce wax. It takes about 24 hours for that to happen. So they've got a lot of patience. Uh, anyway, so that's just, this is my strategy. Now, this hive, we've got AFB, we've got a queen excluder. So the brood in the top box will hatch out. And uh, if, if there's a good honey flow, they'll fill those frames up with honey. And I'll extract the honey, keep those frames separate and then get the honey out and then clean the frames up and then uh, scorch them like I do the other ones when they've had AFP and uh, do the same thing with this one eventually. It's a bit risky having the hive in the middle without AFP but uh, that's just the way it works out. Um, I sort of know that could be risky. Anyway, uh, I'll just put my mat on top. It gives uh, somewhere for the bees to chase the beetle into uh, the in between the mat and the and the frames. So uh, you know, what I'll do here the same thing here. I don't want to squash any of these bees so just make sure the queen isn't there. So what I do is just shake them off. Shake them off, give them a bit of smoke and they'll go down. And, uh, and then when you put the lid on, you haven't got, you're not squashing so many bees. Actually, my smoker got, went out a bit, but it's enough there to... So, now that's... And that's going to be, I've probably killed a few bees there, but that's what they're trying to avoid. So that's uh, my AFB, American Fowl Brood Strategy. So, it's sort of... Well, right, we'll catch you later. All the best, bye.